Hi everyone, this is Sandy Lemke from Free Website Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to size images for website and blogs um, using both Adobe Photoshop and Picnic, which is a web-based free photo editing tool. So let's start by going into Photoshop so we can show you how to very easily size images there. Um, this image obviously is pretty big. For most applications, um, website or blog, this is going to be too big. Uh, it's about 600 wide, I believe. Um, most of the website um, photos that I have are at most 400 pixels wide, and that's because of the content area that I have. If I wanted to have an image the entire width of my content area, then I would you know, limit it to 400 pixels wide. If I wanted a, an image to be you know have text wrap around it for example then maybe I would make it 200 pixels wide but in my case I would like this image to be the entire width of my content area so all I have to do is go image image size and I get the image size dialog box now I rarely use anything in this document size area if you wanted to create a document say eight and a half by eleven or something like that in inches you could do it here but basically what I do for my website and blog photos is I just change the the dimensions in this pixel dimensions area so as I said I want to change this to 400 now notice that I have this constrained proportions box checked that is very important in order to prevent your images from getting distorted if you don't do that your height will not automatically adjust. Now if you go back and look at what this was, this was 600. So it was 600 by 450. Because I had that constrained proportions checked, when I change this to 400, notice what happens to the height. It automatically fills that in in order to make sure my image does not get distorted. You need to do that. That's very important. Then just say OK and now I've got a 400 an image that's 400 pixels wide next step would just be file save for the web and upload it like you normally would now the next thing that I wanted to show you is um, picnic this is the neatest little tool I haven't seen this um, until just recently and basically when you first come into this tool you're gonna get to another screen that has a big get started button on it about right here you click on that and you come to this screen all you want to do is go upload, pick a picture or an image from your computer, and open it up in Picnic. You're going to get this screen, and basically it's got all of these different choices for you. Do you want, it's asking you what you want to do. Do you want to rotate, crop, resize? Do you want to change color? Do you want to fix red eye? For this particular tutorial, we are learning to resize, so we're going to click Resize, and we get you know a box or a, a screen that looks basically the same except that this time it has this little dimensions area up here so all you have to do is change this to whatever you want I'm gonna say 200 this time and because I have this keep proportions box checked that works the same way as constrained proportions does in Photoshop it's gonna automatically adjust my height for me so that my photo is not distorted and after I get the size that I want I can just say okay and then it's asking me, you know, do you want to do anything else? If not, then just go and straight to save. Now it's just like saving it on your computer. You're going to name it. Um, it's going to give you some details about the file. And if you hit save photo, you're just going to get the dialog box like you normally would if you were going to save a photo to your own screen. Now if we say save, now you get this next box here and basically what's saying is your photo is was saved to the computer you know what do you want to do next close the photo or continue editing but what I wanted to show you is you also get this option down here do you want picnic to save a copy for you you know and if you do all you have to do is open up an account it's a free account and uh, you can upload photos and they will store them for you so that's kind of a neat thing you could put all your blog and your um, website images in one spot if you wanted to now if I didn't have Adobe Photoshop um, on my computer you know this would be a very good alternative a free alternative where I wouldn't have to purchase any software and they would save the photos for me so hopefully um, you know these two quick little demonstrations will give you some insight into how to quickly 
uh, size your images, you really want to size your images in some type of photo editor before you put them on your web page because it's difficult to correctly proportion photos or images once you get them on your web page. So we, whether you use Adobe Photoshop or, uh, or an editor of your own choice or this free picnic application, um, it doesn't really matter but you know just make sure that you do it before you upload your images so hopefully this has been helpful um, we've got a lot going on at free website tutorials we'd love to have you stop by it's a rarely uh, uh, quite a new site so we have a lot going on we're adding new stuff every day and we'd love to have you stop by thanks and have a great day